ask Tom on home show. Ken from Houston has a question about water softeners. Yeah, he's starting to get some pinhole leaks in his 15-year-old home, Tom. Ah. Ken writes, my copper pipe started developing, developing pinhole leaks uh, in the copper piping about three years ago. And I've got three so far, but in my mind, one is too many, especially for a house this age. After the last leak, I asked my plumber what could be done, and his response was either a whole house repiping or a water softener. He said we have some very hard water and also some very high chlorine content. What's your suggestion? Quite frankly, you know, I'm a, I'm a big fan of water softeners, and I'm not a big fan of repiping because it's, it's so extensive. And copper pipe is really good. But I don't know if either one of those is going to salt. Well, one would. Repiping probably would. But this is the water that's coming in being real aggressive to the copper. And believe it or not, I don't know where he's getting his uh, pinhole leaks, but where the joints go together and they're sweated or soldered together with copper. If you don't do it right, you create a little ridge in there and it starts to cavitate the water and that starts to eat away with the hard, aggressive water onto the pipe. So the pipe itself could have been, they didn't, they didn't ream the joints when they cut it. They didn't make a nice smooth uh, 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 junction and connection. And so what it's happening is that could be part of what your problem is. With copper, it usually doesn't happen. The other thing with copper, if you have super aggressive water, and it sounds like he does, then this is going to happen too. But that's the beauty of what TDT does. TDT is one of our certified home show pros. You don't have to repipe. If you have copper that has water coming through it that has a lot of metals and stuff that is eating up the copper, they have a way to line your pipe. So the water never touches the pipe because the copper is really good and you don't need to repipe your home. But that little bit of epoxy, I would definitely call to uh, talk to Vic Casso at TDT about what that could be. Now, should you put a water softener on? Absolutely. But I'm not going to tell you if you do, it's because it, a water softener is not a filter. And if you've got some metals and stuff in your water, it's not filtering it. All it's doing is taking the hardness out. And hardness usually doesn't eat up copper. It's usually metals and stuff in the water. Mm. So I would tell you that would be a call to make before I make any decision at TDT and see if that ACE Duraflow or the E-pipe system, however you want to refer to it, and they'll explain to you what it is. And you can go online at homeshowradio.com and see their website and see videos and see what it really does. But it will line the pipe. And the, the key is this. The water never touches the metal. There's never going to be a problem. And it, and it has like a 50-year warranty or something like that. It's a long. I Don't quote me on that. No, no. You get a 10-year warranty. Yeah. And that's labor and materials, right? Right. But it has a 75-year life expectancy. Wow. Now, this came from the military. They use it on aircraft carriers. And you don't repipe an aircraft carrier. Of course, Charlie, <laughs> you know that that they do the, the rigs out in the Gulf. You know, right. they, they, they do a lot of repair on that. Because you don't repipe a rig. If you ever looked at one, there's more pipes mm -hmm. than people. They do multifamily. So it's it's got do, a great do, track record. Yeah, they, they do yeah. a lot of big jobs. So I'm sure they can handle this. All right. You got a question? I bet we can handle it. Go ahead and send it to us. Go visit homeshoreo.com. Click on that Ask Tom button. Fill it out. Send it in. And we'll do a video like this. Post it to homeshoreo.com, our YouTube channel, or our Facebook page. If you're not following us on Facebook, we'd sure appreciate it. 